Welcome back to the second video in my scripting series. Now, if you're enjoying the series so far, please don't forget to give me a like on the video uh, and subscribe if you're interested in more scripting content. Um, so, in the previous video, and if you haven't already seen that video, by the way, I recommend you go and watch it. I'll leave a card to it in the top right corner of the screen and a link in the description. The previous video was about properties, and we also went over Roblox Studio a little bit. So, we we'll definitely recommend watching that first. Now, we're going to go over properties a little bit more in this video, uh, but it won't be as long as uh, last time. Now, you might be getting a little bit bored of doing properties, and I know you want to jump to the good stuff, but we have to learn uh, this stuff because it is vital, which you need to know, and uh, if you don't, then you'll get confused later on. So, let's say you have a brick, okay, or a part, or any object, and you give it a name such as um, my brick, okay? but you have a space in the name. All right, that's fair enough. Um, so let's go into the script, and now let's try and reference it. So it's obviously game.workspace, and uh, the brick, uh, we're gonna say dot my brick, okay? So my brick uh, dot transparency equals one. All right, it doesn't seem to like the name of this, uh, obviously because it's got a space in it, and uh, Lua won't allow spaces in names. So when we go and run this, um, it's not going to go transparent because the script has encountered an error. So when a script encounters an error, it's going to stop. And you're not going to see the expected result. So we're going to open up the output, and the output will allow us to debug our scripts. Now, don't worry about this stuff. This is just because of plugins I have which don't work. But you can see here, the script has given us a message. So it's saying, so script service dot script. That's telling us where the script is. So here it is. And it's saying 1. So 1 means the, the line number. You can see how it counts the lines as you go down. So it's telling us which line it's stopped on. So line 1. And it says um, equals expected near brick. And we've got an equals. But the issue is because of this red line. Because of this name. So how do we get around this? Um, if you've got a space in the name of your instance or object. You can put it in square brackets. Okay. So you're not going to need the dot over here by workspace but you're going to need it by transparency so instead of saying game.workspace dot my brick we can do square brackets and then inside of these square brackets we can do quotation marks or, or, or speech marks and then you can write the name of the brick no problem because it's a string and a string is a, a data type of text which is acceptable by roblox so this time if we go and try try it out it goes fully transparent and if we look in the output, there's no errors from our script, okay? So that's the first thing I, I had to get around. Uh, the second problem is if your name is a number, okay? So 56, okay? And we try and do the same thing again. Game.workspace.56.transparency um, equals 1. This is going to cause an error as well because um, you can't just have... Well, be it's because the name property of a part is, is a string, and a string is text and a string should be written like this okay um, because the data which goes into this this name property is a text not a number um, we have to again put it in a string so you can't just put numbers like this um, because it will just go blue and then the script will get confused again so again square brackets and as a string uh, just in, in, in speech marks like this um, we put 56 and then we need the dot after the square brackets to indicate what property we're trying. And again, run the game and it will go transparent. So that's, uh, they are just a couple of things that you could have um, when you're trying to reference a part. Uh, and again, uh, another problem you may face is, um, let's say you are finding a part in the workspace and we call this part gravity, okay? But uh, the workspace also has a property called gravity. Uh, so we have a part called gravity in the workspace and a property of workspace called gravity. So when we say game.workspace.gravity, how does the script know that we want to change this property of workspace or whether we want to reference and access the part called gravity? What you want to do, if you want to get the property, then it's going to by default find this property okay it's going to go to this first but if you actually just want to find the uh the name of the, you want to find the part instead of doing a dot you could say colon find first child 
And what Find First Child does is it looks for uh, only the things inside of workspace. So we're not talking about the properties here. A child, as I said, is something inside of, of another thing. So these parts, uh, camera, terrain, base plate, and gravity, are all part of the workspace. They're all children of the workspace. So we're finding the first child with a name, gravity. And then you can do something like um, setting the transparency to 0.5. Okay, so try that again. Uh, and there you go, it goes half transparent. But again, if we had just said um, gravity dot transparency, it, there we go, and run the game, it's got confused because it's, it's gone to the workspace, looked at its property called gravity, and it's tried to set it to a number. But, um, well, no, it's, it's tried to set its transparency because it's, it's trying to find a property of this property, and you can't have a property of a property. So they're just a couple of things which could go wrong, and I've shown you how to uh, get around them by using square brackets and uh, speech marks. Another problem which you might have is if you have two parts that have the same name. So if we have, uh, let's just change this from gravity to, uh, I don't know, um, dog, okay? And we clone this part, and we now have two parts called dog. Um, and then, what if you wanted to say game.workspace.dog.transparency, right? Um, because you want to make them both transparent. Um, well, you can't. If you try and do this, it's going to only set the transparency of one of them, okay? And this is because um, the script, it can't tell them apart because they have the same name. So it goes into the workspace and it only picks one of them. Um, it only picks the first one which it finds. So you're going to have to name one of them dog1 and the other one dog2. And then you're going to have to change the transparency of dog1 and dog2 on two different lines like this. So it's only going to it's only going to pick one when they have the same name. And one more thing that I want to go over, we had an error earlier in our code and these can happen, these errors can appear quite a lot when you're scripting. So don't be disheartened if you get an error because usually most of the time they are really easy to fix, okay? So um, let's try and, let, well, let's firstly insert another part, okay? And uh, we'll just we'll keep it named part. If you make a simple capitalization or spelling mistake, um, the script's gonna error. So for example, if you said uh, game instead of game, dot workspace, uh, dot part, dot brick color equals brick color dot new, and we give it really red, um, you can see it's it's highlighted that you've you've made a mistake, and it's saying unknown global because it doesn't know what what game means, right? And if you try and run it, uh, it's going to have an error. So if you ever get an error, um, make sure you've checked to see if you're spelling things right. And look, attempt index global game at a nil value. That's because it's tried to find game, but it can't find it. And the same thing goes for things like um, if you spell something with lowercase. Okay, uh, it worked that time because you can you can actually say workspace in, in lowercase because it's a, a service. But if you said, say, part with lowercase, okay, but it's actually got a capital letter to be, to start off with, and we run this, it's, it's tried to find the, the name uh, exactly how we wrote it, so part. And it said, part is not a valid member of workspace. That just means it can't find um, a, a brick called part as you've, uh, as you spelt it with a capital P in the workspace, okay? Because you could have two parts, one sp spelt with lowercase, one spelt normally, okay? And that would be the way to distinguish between them. So you have to make sure that you get the spelling, capitalization, and everything correct. I'm not sure if it's the same with brick color, with um, properties. I um, wouldn't think so, yeah, exactly. So you can, uh, you, you don't have to, you know, get the capitalization correct, but it's good practice too on things like brick uh, when you're stating the name of the property. But uh, I think if you did something like a spelling mistake like this, and you said brick claw, it's going to get confused. Okay, yep, yeah, look, look, it's trying to find um, brick claw, but it can't find it. And the same thing uh, goes for if you make a spelling mistake in uh, in the name of uh, your colour, it, it's going to error. So always make sure you've spelled everything correctly, and uh, you, you're using capital letters correctly, uh, etc. Okay? What you should do as you keep scripting is, you know, just keep checking your scripts as you write them to make sure that the capitalization is right um, and that you've spelled everything correctly. So, and that way you reduce the chance of making mistakes um, and having to then debug them later on. 
And also, if you get an error and you don't know uh, what is wrong with it, you can always ask people online. Uh, you can go to places such as the Roblox Developer Forum or ask a friend. But it's good if you're trying to work out uh, fixes to your own errors and mistakes because that way uh, it will help you later on when you're trying to solve more complex problems and, and it builds your problem solving skills and you won't have to, to ask for help all the time. So errors are good and they can be annoying at times but you just have to deal with them you have to try and solve them think logically and you know don't be disheartened if you, if you can't find the the solution yet so i think that was everything that i was going to cover in this video i wanted it to be a lot shorter than the last one if you do want to go to the next video then i'll leave a thumbnail on the screen right now which you can go and click there'll be an arrow to it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel alvin blocks uh, there'll be a logo on screen as well if you want to click that to subscribe to my channel uh, because i produce lots more roblox scripting videos designed to help you learn to script and make uh, your own roblox games so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one